Hiya, so um, I've added my profit trailer config files to download on my YouTube channel. Uh, you'll find those in the description of this video. So I'm basically going to talk about how it works and how to set it up as well. Okay, so this is the BTC USDT chart. Uh, we're on the eight hour time frame here. I've got the price action, which is this white line. I've got two moving averages, which is a 21 and a 40, the yellow and the red lines. Um, we're going to take long positions when the yellow line is above the red line. And we're going to take short positions when the red line is above the yellow line. Okay, um, the indicator we're using is called DMI Stochastics. So if you click on indicators at the top, type in DMI Stochastics. You've got a few different versions. The best one to use is this one here, DMI Stochastics Extreme by UCS Gears. Um, the reason that's the best one to use is because it's the simplest one. It just gives you these white lines here. There's nothing else. And you're going to add alerts to take a long position when it crosses up above 10. You're going to take a long position. And on the short side, you're going to take short positions when it's coming back down and crossing 90 so to add alerts you go over to the menu click the alarm clock uh is my alerts popped up there so what you do is you go to the indicator and you do a right click on the indicator pops up this menu you're going to select add alert on DMI Stochastics and that pops up this window so I'll show you on my alerts what information we're going to put in there so this is the 8 hour time frame um, the 8 hour time frame is probably the best time frame to use because it gives you um, you know a bigger picture of the price action the only time the 8 hour isn't great is when Bitcoin isn't really moving, when it's not volatile. So in those cases you can switch down to a, a, a lower time frame. So I tend to use 6 hour and 8 hour time frames, but you can use 4 hour or even lower to be honest. Um, it just depends how much Bitcoin is moving. So I mean lately it's been extremely volatile. So it's been working well within the eight hour time frame. Um, I.e. you would have caught the big move at the start of this. So you're only taking long positions when the yellow line is crossing. So if you had opened the position at the bottom here, which was 16.979, then you would have caught that position all the way up to the top. Um, so going back to the indicators so if you look at my bitcoin indicator what we're doing is this is the indicator condition dmi stochastics on the stochastic crossing up this is a long position so the value is when it crosses above 10 uh, the trigger is once per bar, you set the expiration, uh, give it a name, and in this box here, you add the, um, the command that's sent to Profit Trailer to open the long position. Um, you'll find that command in my text file in the downloads. And if you look at my short position, So that's the same except we're putting in the condition crossing down and the value 90 
and obviously in the message box you want it to open a short position okay. and you set that on the 8 hour BTC chart I use Ethereum as well so it works well on Ethereum um, it does work on everything else really I mean you can use it on all coins or you know traditional stocks or currencies euro dollar pounds etc I mean I haven't tried it but then all you have to do is look on a chart and see how well it performs against that indicator and you know if it's going to work or not okay I'm gonna also talk about closing a position because this is where it gets a bit a bit difficult really because you're taking a long position obviously if you, you caught this long position here which it would have opened for you now if you're just scraping then you can take a closed position when it comes back down and to be honest you know like you take this trade here you've got a very good profit there to close it at that short position but then when Bitcoin wasn't very volatile back here you would have closed it with quite a short profit margin really and missed out on the big move so this is where you have to decide if you want to close it when it's coming back down on the indicator so you've got to bear in mind that you're getting a short call here but the yellow line is still above the red line so it's pulling back but it's not going to dump as much as if the red line was above like up here so you know that's really your call so in the config files you've got the option in the close position to either close when you get the short call or to just let it ride and then decide when you want to take your profits yourself really so you know because obviously like when you get up to the top here if you open this position and you didn't have the close then it would have come back down and you would have got stopped out there so you know it was coming basically to the end but so the other option I'm going to put in the config files is to close the position when the EMA, EMA lines are coming crossing back down so you've got three options well yes you got three options to close your position you can either close it when you get the short call you can let it ride and decide when to close it yourself or you can set it well actually I will add it as default in the config files to close when you get the crossover so that gives you pretty much you know like if you're in this short position currently so say you got well, you see if you took the call there then you would have got stopped out on that call but you would have reopened a position so that's fine so you would have reopened this position and you'd currently be down in this position here and at the moment we don't know if Bitcoin is going to pull back up and break through this moving average or it, to be honest going by the stochastics indicator here it, you're right at the top here so you're more than likely going to take a dump here and we're going to come down to 20 I should think 20 here when you had the last price action so that's the the support here so I reckon we're going to come down to 20 at the moment and then we're going to start consolidating and we're going to get the crossover here so you know that's still a good profit we're looking from there there that's what 15% plus so if you was 10x in that that's 150 percent 20x in that position that would be 300 percent which is a good profit a very good profit okay then cheers